Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And this time we are looking at the Saji Ginsan, or known as Ginsanko or G3 or Silver 3 Santoku 175mm knife. As I just mentioned, this core steel has a lot of names, but it is uh, known as Ginsan or Silver 3 or G3 stainless steel. Very high quality stainless steel with great sharpening properties, fine grained and uh, it's a real nice steel to work with. The heat treat rating is about 61 to 63 Rockwell on that coarse steel. The construction is a softer stainless cladding over the top of that um, G3 or Silver 3 uh, coarse steel, and so it's an all stainless blade. The weight on the knife is 120 grams or 4.2 ounces, so it's quite light. The blade length is about 172 on this particular sample. This can vary a little bit from knife to knife. Overall length about 12.4 inches. The thickness coming out of the handle above the chin of the back of the heel here is about 3.2, but then it thins out real rapidly off of that and then holds that and then thins out towards the tip. We'll get a closer look at that. The height on this one is 46.6 millimeter back at the chin up to the spine. And the handles are nicely executed, a classic looking octagonal ambidextrous rosewood Handle with a black pack of wood ferrule, nice fit and finish, good install. Handle circumference about 73 millimeter, just under 3 inches right here at the ferrule wood junction. And uh, let's get a close up look at the blade. This is kind of a no nonsense, refined, um, high quality knife that doesn't, it's not fancy. It's got a kind of an all business mode about it, but they are good performing knives. And uh, here's some uh, really well chiseled kanji and it has some texture to it for a nice effect and a kind of a class look to it and one of the things i like about the finish on this knife that i mentioned in the nakiri is they have the sanding marks and the finish marks running the length of the blade longitudinally instead of going up and down spine to edge like a lot of knives and where that's nice is when you clean a knife you're usually wiping it this way and you tend to get scratches, light scratches going that way, especially since this has a softer stainless cladding. So that helps hide the scratches. I really like that on a knife. And it looks a little different than kind of the run of the mill uh, finish on a lot of knives. So um, this line here is kind of a faux, it's a sanded line, but it's a faux kind of bevel on it. And the actual grind hits right in just a little bit below that. So it's more of a visual effect than anything else. It starts pretty close to that, but I wouldn't make that a hard and fast. It's just kind of more of a visual cue uh, for aesthetics than anything else. But the, the grind does start kind of right in that area. And you can see the coarse steel right at the edge there. It's a real nice, elegant look. Fit and finish is very good. Um, you've got just a touch of relief on the spine and the choil into the neck are emoto. And so... Uh, out of the box edge, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It was very sharp, but it didn't have a lot of bite or tooth to it, so you could definitely put a better edge on this pretty easily out of the box. I did. I used this Santoku quite a bit, and uh, believe me, it's a great performing knife, but uh, the edge got much sharper uh, as soon as I you know, took it to a 3K stone and a little stropping. So th this steel is really nice. It sharpens up very, very well. Again, handle fit and finish real nice. Let's back out a little bit here. As I said, this is a high-performance blade. I was very impressed with the performance. Uh, the tip, while it doesn't have a ton of distal taper, it uh, it does flow very nicely through product, and this thing just kind of acts like a laser. It's not it's not a super-duper thin knife. It's got a little beat meat at the spine for some stiffness, but the grind is so well done, and it's thin at the edge, and it just it really goes through stuff. So I was very impressed with it. It's a very enjoyable knife to use. Let's look at it on the cutting board. I had a lot of fun using this knife, and I think you will too. It's all stainless. Again, no nonsense, not super frilly or fancy, but uh, it really gets the job done. I like the look of these knives. Here's the profile on a board. Got a little bit of flat spot just towards the heel, not much, as you might expect. And you've got a little bit of belly at the front. You can get pretty high before you start hitting the tip into the cutting board, but... Nice edge bevel on this, or I should say nice uh, profile on the on the curve of the belly. Real nice flow, no hitches or hiccups in it at all. And it really, it, it rocks real nice um, and just flows real nice on the board. So as I said, very, very enjoyable knife to use. And uh, 
Just uh, this is a super nice line of knives if you're looking for something in stainless. A little different look to it, kind of a no-nonsense, high-performance feel to it. This might be a great line knife if you have a little bit of space restriction in your work area. So there you have the uh, Saji Ginsan or Ginsanko Silver 3 Santoku 175mm knife.